Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to share with you guys five ways on how you can take your current winter wardrobe and transition it for the spring time. So you don't have to go out and buy any new pieces. I'm going to show you guys how to take your cold weather staples and piece it together to create new outfits with lighter fabrics. So the easiest way for me to transition is to incorporate a new color palette change up the fabrics of your outfits and mix and match different tones and textures. I will go ahead and say that I live in Houston, Texas, so I don't have a true winter per se. So some of these outfits you might need a heavier coat with or like longer boots. So just keep that in mind. Typically when I think of like a spring day here in Houston, Texas, I'm thinking like a chillier morning and like a warmer afternoon. So all of my outfits are all about balance, having heavier fabrics, lighter fabrics, as well as layers to help me transition my outfits. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and get started. So my first tip is to change out your outer layers. So instead of going for a teddy jacket or like a really thick wool jacket, even like a puffy jacket, switch it out for a lighter jacket, kind of like a blazer or a trench coat. Blazers are so perfect for transitioning, especially because they come in a variety of styles. So you can do like a dress blazer, a boyfriend blazer you can go for a pastel blazer there are so many options blazers are definitely a lighter third layer but I think that is the key when you're transitioning from winter to spring you still want to hold on to your outer layers but you want them to be lighter so blazers for that reason are perfect so with this mint blazer I paired a chunky sweater underneath this should keep me pretty warm and snugly early in the morning when it's colder but later in the afternoon when it gets a little bit warm when the Sun peaks out I can definitely take off the blazer and just walk around in my sweater and jeans and I think that is so perfect and key to transitioning where you can peel off layers and be comfortable throughout the day. So this is my first look. I think it turned out super super cute. My second tip is to mix and match fabrics. So pair like flowier fabrics with more chunkier heavy velvet boots or go for it like a velvet top and then go for lighter daintier pants. It's all about balancing. It's all about mixing textures and patterns. So so what I have on here is a mint dress that I literally bought like at the beginning of summer last year and I'm pulling it out now and pairing it with a thicker chunkier sweater on top and I just love the way this look goes together. You can also definitely apply this technique to skirts so you don't have to limit it to dresses only. You can use like uh, pleated skirts, some um, satin skirts, midi skirts, pencil skirts, even tulle skirts. My third tip is to layer, layer, layer. Layering is so key and essential when you're transitioning because like I mentioned, it could be cold in the morning, warm at night, warm in the morning, cold at night. You just don't know. The weather is transitioning as is your wardrobe. So definitely be able to peel things on and off as you want. So what I have on is this turtleneck dress that I absolutely love. It is so beautiful. I got it from ASOS. I'll link it down below. And then I have it paired with a midi uh, metallic skirt. Skirts are so perfect for transitioning as well but because I can't just wear a skirt it might be colder outside I layered it with a long uh, dress on top just to give me some extra warmth you can also add leggings to this if you're somewhere even colder and then as always have a jacket in hand so I have this a faux fur coat from Nordstrom you can also go for a lighter coat I love this outfit it's one of my favorites especially because it has so many layers and dimension um, one of my tips was to mix and match the textures as well so you can see the skirt has pleats on it while the dress is like a solid jersey fabric and I love the way this looks it just gives the outfit more more character. My fourth tip is another obvious one but something that I love to always remind people of is to go for lighter washes for your pants. So go for either white jeans, some lighter denim washes, even some trousers. Try to switch up your jeans and go for like some um, cargo pants or some like even dressy pants and I think it really changes up your outfits and your looks all together. I love a really casual laid-back relaxed look like this. This is so me. You can probably find me wearing something like this throughout the year. So just play around with lighter washes. I think pastels are so perfect for this time of the year. So you can even pair this outfit with like a mint a sweater and um, something like that. 
So yeah, that is my fourth tip. My fifth and last tip is to pull out all of your spring and summer dresses. Don't be too afraid to pull it out too soon. So for this look, I have on this really pretty floral dress that I got a couple years ago, but I'll find something similar and link it down below. And I like it because it has florals. Florals are obviously very, very appropriate for spring. So I paired this flowy chiffon dress with some velvet boots. And I think the velvet knee-high boots definitely tie this look together because you have that balance between a lighter fabric and a more thicker fabric like the velvet. So that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below if I missed any tips or tricks that you guys may have to help you transition your outfits. Also, let me know what you guys want to see in the future and hopefully I can create it for you guys. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!